Before looking at a three digit subtraction sum with borrowing, it can be helpful to look at a subtraction sum that can be solved without borrowing. As with standard column subtraction, we set up columns for the digits in the sum, here the ones, the tens and the hundreds working from right to left. The first subtraction in the ones column gives us 5 minus 2, which is 3. In the tens we have 8 minus 6, which is 2. And then for the hundreds we have 7 minus 4, which is 3, giving an answer to the sum of 323. Now, for example B, we initially set the sum up in exactly the same way, with the same columns. Now for the first subtraction in the ones column, we have 4 minus 7. Now this causes a bit of a problem, as we want to be taking a smaller number away from a larger one. We would like to make the 4 larger than the 7 if we can. And this is where borrowing comes in. We can borrow a digit from the next tens column in the following way. We cross through the 3 indicating that we are removing a digit. This will make 3 into a 2 which we write above. And the digit we've borrowed is written beside the 4, which makes the 4 into 14. So now the 1 column subtraction is 14 minus 7, which gives us a result of 7. Now looking at the tens column, we currently have 2 minus 5. So again, some borrowing is going to be needed. Borrowing a digit from the hundreds column turns the 6 there into a 5 and turns the 2 in the tens column into a 12. Now in the tens, 12 minus 5 gives us 7. We then carry out a subtraction of what is left in the hundreds column, which is 5 minus 2, which gives us 3. And the final answer to the sum of 377, with the help of borrowing digits when it was required. In this example, we again set the sum up with columns for the ones, tens and the hundreds. Now, the subtraction in the ones column is 2 minus 3 as it stands. However, we can't borrow a digit from the next column, as there is a 0 there. But what we can do is borrow twice across columns in order to get a larger number on top in the ones column. Firstly, we can borrow from the hundreds into the tens column. The hundreds column becomes 4, and the 0 in the tens column becomes 10. And now we are in a position to borrow from the tens column into the ones column. In borrowing a digit, 10 becomes 9, and we now have 12 in the ones column. So we now have 12 minus 3, which is 9. 9 minus 1 in the tens column gives us 8. And then in the hundreds column, we have the subtraction of 4 minus 4, which is 0. And this gives us an answer to the subtraction sum of 89.